Hey YouTube, this is RP Model Railroads, and in this video I'm going to take you on a tour of my N-Scale 3 foot by 2 foot Alpine Railroad. Basically, it's a mini fictional Germany. And before I get too deep into the layout, I do want to explain, I actually bought this layout pre-built uh, from a neighbor down the street from me uh, who said that his father was really interested in the model trains and he built what appeared to be an American Western themed layout uh, with some of the structures and everything like that falling off from age and um, I took the layout and completely transformed it into this German paradise. So without further ado, let's jump right into it with probably the most colorful aspect of the whole layout, the green railroad bridges. So I got the idea to repaint these because this particular bridge here, which as you can see, it appears to be kit bashed by the previous owner. Looks like they broke the ends off of another bridge and glued it on top to enclose it. Uh, anyway, the way that it was put on here was just a standard black bridge with those pieces glued on top. And then I guess to weather it, they decided to paint it with the same blue and browns that they painted into the creek and the bench work of the layout. It just really didn't look that good in my opinion, so I decided to paint it up in bright green to keep the whole foreign theme of the layout going. And while I was at it, I painted the perfectly black bridge over here in the same green so that they matched. And I have to say that it really adds to the whole German theme of the layout itself. And as you may notice, I have installed some rather basic catenary on the layout itself, only on the outer line. The inner line is where I prefer to mainly use my diesels for shunting wagons around. So I really haven't installed any catenary there. Uh, as the outer line, even though this layout's rather small, is what I consider to be, you know, like the high speed line or the main line, even though the layout is only three foot by two foot. So uh, that's kind of my inspiration and my thoughts behind the layout. And as far as buildings go, mainly I wanted to focus on scenery here, not really get into some too in-depth scenes, but hopefully in the future, you know, as this layout is, is what I like to call forever 98% complete, I'll always be adding or changing something. So maybe in the future, I'll detail these scenes up a little bit more. But anyway, we have a rather cool looking uh, German train station here that I built this kit myself. Same with the engine shed back here with a uh, mini tricks uh, German V200 diesel sticking out there being maintenance. And we have a another, of course, uh, center cab diesel here that appears to be uh, right now. It's just sitting there on the inner line, which, by the way, the inner line, all of this inner loop here is controlled separately and was wired up separately by the previous owner that built the layout from the outer line. So it's another reason why I like the layout, the fact that I can stage as many locomotives as I want back here by the engine shed and, and by the uh, tunnel here, for example. Here we have a factory, which I would like to detail this scene up a little bit more in the future by adding maybe one or two gantry cranes overlooking the tracks. And then here we have some diesel refueling tanks, uh, which really look awesome right near the uh, engine shed and the train station that they would use to refuel the uh, diesel locom locomotives that run on the layout. Uh, as far as the scenery, most of the scenery, like some of these green trees that you see, the large ones were already on the layout. And then I added probably about 100 to 200 more of uh, evergreen trees all around the layout just to keep the whole green theme going. And of course, I went back to Woodland Scenics with uh, some clump foliage and then some coarse turf to complete the look. And in my opinion, the scenery just turned out phenomenally. Uh, back here, we have a Volmer water tower, which overlooks what appears to be a mini Alpine village. I don't really have a name for it yet. But uh, in this village, we see majoritably townhouses made by Kibri, if I'm saying it properly. And then we have some rather skinny looking buildings here that complete the scene and make the street look really small, which was my goal all along with some trees behind them. Uh, I think the purpose of these buildings would be to more or less, you know, detail a layout backdrop, but in my opinion, they just really added another, you know, depth perspective to the layout if you look at it from this direction. And if you look at it from straight on, obviously you're mainly seeing the townhouses because the trees conceal the back of the backdrop building. So I may change that in the future, but for now it's there. So of course up here on both mountains, we have a surplus of trees, which just look fantastic on top of the mountains. Um, at about that Western theme, you can still see the original backdrop that the guy who built this layout put on here. You can see some barns in the background and mountains really doesn't match the theme of the layout. So I probably will be changing that in the future whenever I come up with a better idea. Uh, again, this layout comes with a backdrop of its own that goes straight up to the top of the mountains. 
all done by the previous owner and he did an incredible job painting the clouds and it just looks absolutely incredible the fact that there's already a backdrop on the layout as well is just stunning uh, like i said i may be changing those barns down there if it's easy if not then i'm just going to leave it on there to pay homage to the previous builder of this layout and up here we have a castle couldn't build a german layout without adding a castle uh, it really adds uh, the whole classic you know medieval theme and foreign theme to the layout in my opinion and uh, the castle just looks great i do believe that it was missing the original drawbridge but it worked out perfectly for my purposes because it's up here in the mountain anyway so it just looks uh, incredible in my opinion sticking off the mountain and really adds uh, depth to the layout itself and as we move back here we see we've got a road down here with some german cars and yes i did put them on the opposite side of the road from the way we drive normally in the united states so um just trying to keep it as prototypical as possible even though this layout is not realistic there is a tree bunch of trees here on the corner of this layout this corner of the layout really doesn't have anything on it because it is rather tight to the lines as you can see here not sure exactly what i'm going to add there i'm probably just going to keep it mostly scenic and then we have a signal tower right there so that pretty much sums it up uh the alpine railroad is basically you know my journey into the world of n-scale german locomotives and and n-scale german trains period uh, i've never really even you know even thought about doing or collecting foreign locomotives uh, or even particular German locomotives until I got the idea for this layout which was inspired by uh, some other model railroaders that I know who have built layouts you know modeling in other countries such as the UK or or Germany etc and I didn't know that there was such a vast amount of different scales out there for different railroads in particular you know the German um, DB which is just incredible so basically this layout is me dabbling in some German end scale trains I've always loved end scale and um, always loved the loco commotion game which uh, to my knowledge features uh, some rather basic looking German locomotives so that's kind of where the inspiration came from for this layout always wondered if I could replicate something like the loco commotion game made a paradise of sorts for foreign locomotives in this case German locomotives as I did more research so that's about it for the Alpine Railway. Again, I probably will be updating you all very soon on the layout in the future. If I ever do get those gantry cranes at a decent price and build them, of course, I'll be putting them onto the layout. And every now and then I do run trains on the layout and post a video. So hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.